Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here, and today I'm with Matt. How's it going, Matt? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So we've got all of this stuff in front of us. What are we talking about today? Today we are talking about building up a support rig. Got it. So lots of different types of rigs. Oh yeah. And I think we should probably start with the foundation of pretty much every rig that's out there. Yeah, I mean all of these support rigs are all based on the rod. Um, this is a 15 millimeter rod. Right. Uh, which is industry standard and has been for quite some time, right. which is great. So, you know, across the board, regardless of manufacturer, all of these devices are going to be able to work together. And so right now I'm actually attaching the rods to this particular rod support system. So now we have the rods here and they're attached to the rod support system. And these can be different depending on who the manufacturer is, correct? Right. So over there... This so on, is the Zakudo rig, right? Yeah, so on this, the rods are actually built into the rig itself. Right. And the base plate that attaches the camera is a separate device that attaches to it. Okay. Um, and on this system, what we're going to do is we've actually got this plate that screws into the bottom of the camera, and then it attaches to the rods just like that. Okay, so it's like a base plate system, and then that locks down. Exactly. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and have you hold this, mm -hmm. and you can talk a little bit about that cheese plate design and some of the things that are there, and then I'll put this on here, and then we'll talk about how to build this up. Is that Perfect. Cool? Yep. Yeah, so this is all based um, with the cheese plate as your base support. Um, and it's called a cheese plate because you have all of these threads that you can screw accessories into. Right. Um, or like we've done here, you can mount a tripod plate into. So it gives you a lot of mounting options. And then once you have your rods in there, then you can start to build up your system. And we'll start by putting the camera on there. Got it. So now we've got uh, the camera attached to the rods, and now we can start to build up the support system. Got it. So let's talk about this thing because I can see that you have a long lens on here. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we can talk about is you can usually get an accessory from a lot of different manufacturers called a lens support. Right? Exactly. Because, you know, this lens is heavy. Um, and once you add even a, the 2.8 70 to 200, it's even heavier. And what it's going to do is, is since the camera is mounted back here, the weight of this can start to tip the camera forward. Right. So it's a good idea to support your lens so that as you're zooming, as you're focusing, there's not a lot of lens vibration. Got it. So, so you can attach this again to the rods. Yep. Then we just go up like that. And we that. do that and we lock it down. Yep. And now there's there's that support and so the lens is in the right position and stays that way. So when you're up on sticks and you're you're tilting the camera or you're on a shoulder mounted rig or whatever it is, if you need mm -hmm. to use a long lens, that lens support is a great accessory and again based on this whole 15 millimeter rod support system. Exactly. Cool. So let's go ahead and put that down. And Let's talk about this here and what this setup is. Yeah. You can sort of take us through some of this stuff. So this is basically, you know, more of a built up version of what we were just working with. Right. Um, again, coming off of the cheese plate with the rods. Um, but what we've done is now we've, you know, with having this rod length, you're able to put a whole variety of things on here. So we have a follow focus. We have a mat box. We've got a handle. Yep. We've been able to mount this monitor. Cool. You know, you can really kit out off of these rods. In, in whatever configuration you want. And this is more of a, a studio type setup or something that we would use on the narrative or a commercial type shoot. Most of the time we're gonna take this rig and it's gonna sit on a, a good heavy duty tripod system. So it's gonna be up on a fluid head. Exactly. And the ability to be able to take all of these components and not have to attach them directly to the camera, that's the huge advantage of being able to use a system not only for small format cameras like this, but just in general, industry-wide, we use these rigs all around. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's talk about, now that you have on here, obviously, a map box system, mm -hmm. and that is also attached, if we look under there, to the 15 millimeter rods. Yep. And we can do a lot of stuff with this. Obviously, we have this piece right here. What's that called? Uh, this is an eyebrow. Right. And what this is doing is, obviously, the matte box by itself is acting as a lens shade. Got it. But then once we add this eyebrow, then we can add even more shade um, depending on where the light's coming from. Okay, and then also we can add filters to this. Right, and this right. one has two filter trays, two stages. Yep. So what we'll do is I think you've got a polarizer there. I do, yep. So we can throw that into this tray. Yep, and you just sort of put that in there, and then we lock that in. Yep, so now I can throw the filter into our map box. Yep. And, uh, you know, this is a rotating tray, so it works great for the polarizer. Yep. And now we're set to go. So now what's great is that we can keep the matte box here. If we had to do a lens change or anything mm. like that, we're not having anything attached directly to the camera itself. So it's all living in its self-contained unit. Good. And then over here on the other side, if we just rotate that around 
and we take a look at this, we have another little accessory which is also attached to one of the 15 millimeter rods. Mm -hmm. And this is allowing us to attach this little arm. And then we have a monitor on here for the operator or we could have this set up for uh, pulling focus mm -hmm. for, you know, for that type of situation. Yeah, exactly. So really, really cool that we can see that set up. And then let's talk a little bit about a couple of other rigs that people would use a rod support system for. This one right here is a little handheld rig. Mm -hmm. And again, all of the rods here are based on the 15 millimeter system. And if I just take this, a lot of these handheld rigs will have some sort of body brace. So we can just put that in, lock it down, and then we have that body brace there. Of course, we can attach a lens support to this. Sure. We could put a follow, follow focus, focus system. Yep. A mat box if you wanted. Yep. But of course, if we start to kit it out a lot, then we really want to either take a look at something like this studio setup or maybe a shoulder mount rig. And let's talk about this one from Zacuto and some of the other things that we have based on the 15 millimeter rod support system. Right, I mean here, um, you know, we've got a shoulder pad, we've got a counterweight, which helps balance out the weight in the front. So you can, you know, kind of kit it out with your follow focus with a mat box. Here we have an electronic viewfinder. Right. So again, this is kind of nice. When you do have more accessories you want to put on your camera, the more weight, the better on a shoulder rig because it does help balance out your shots. Got it. And so lots and lots of flexibility here. Lots of flexibility with all of these rigs. And what's really cool about this is that we take that foundation that you talked about in the beginning. We start with the rods. We have a rod support system. And then because it's a standard, we can actually take pieces from different manufacturers even and mix and match and build the rig that we want. Absolutely. And so that's cool. We might prefer one follow focus system to another. We might prefer one map box system to another. But because they're all based on the standard, we can build the rig up the way we want for the type of shooting and sometimes also just take different pieces and build different types of rigs. Exactly. So very, very cool. And hopefully that gives everybody a really clear idea of how to build up a rig. And thanks, Matt, so much for everything. You bet. Thank you.